God damn, man. You just eating anything you see? There he is. Could they only afford the real forte for two episodes? <laughs> Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy you done did it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -oh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leon. I'm Tim Kula, South African Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into Sweet Tooth, Episode 5. Oh, man. It's the third day watching Sweet Tooth. Legit. Halfway through, yeah, we halfway through, right? The last four episodes, watching two today, watching two tomorrow. You're expected day by day each episode. Mad excited for this episode because we ended on some cliffhanger because the wannabe animal kids <laughs> turned against a leader. And and I, I solely called it, you can see my reaction. I saw that civil war coming because that other girl was on that other girl's ass, yo. She was like, yo, do something, do something, do something before I take your crown type of ish. I feel like that girl who is the leader is going to join the group. I'm only saying that because I found a picture to use in my backdrop. And I saw the three of them, Gus, Big Man and the girl. <laughs> so I know it's going to happen. And that backdrop is this episode. You're welcome. <laughs> Anyway, let's not waste any more time. I'm really enjoying the hell out of this show. This is Sweet Tooth, episode 5. Who are we following first? Story A, Gus. Story B, the doctor. Story C, Amy. Oh, this is a new friend. Who is this? Oh, it's the evil guy. Who's Gladys? They think... They think Gladys is one of the Amy sympathizers. Oh, is it that doctor? It's the doctor at the first episode who had cancer. So she fakes being sick. So she doesn't have to kill more hybrids. Gladys has kids. General is creepy though. Who's playing him? I don't know this actor. Oh, he wants the book. Some some human supremacy shit. Oh my god, Gladys about to die. About to do that classic burn out human being alive trick. Nope. They're gonna yeah, give her the sickness. The time has come. Sweet too. His legs is giving up on him. They are friends now. Fist bump. <laughs> you still ditching the kid? Where is she? There she is. Formation about his mother. They not cool with each other. Team up. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this show. This show is such a love letter to nature. Why does he keep looking at her like that? He's been practicing. I'm pretty sure your dad told the, told you she's dead, bruv. <laughs> oh, they arguing. What is Gus seeing? No. Yo, he did not leave it hanging. Damn. They protected him. Because he likes Gus. That's why he's doing it. God damn. There's a shitload of flowers here. Oh, that's such a... Fucked up bridge. Gus is just gonna walk through the flowers. Why is he so rebellious though? Probably because his father kept him in captivity. Oh! Damn! Such a green screen scene, but it's still tension high. Did he get hurt? Oh, he fell in the flowers. Amy! The sloth kids. Monkey kids. It's probably a rabbit or a squirrel. <laughs> there are a lot of animatronic things in this. He turned into a CG character. God damn, don't fall for it. Oh, she's smart. Amy's smart. Is she feeling lonely? They got so many hybrid kids now. 
They're so cute. God damn. They've been mocked. He's hallucinating. Is that what this flower does? He's getting candy off the wazoo. Just not even unwrapping it. What a hallucination. Is he gonna see his dad? Or birdie? God damn, man. You're just eating anything you see. There he is. Could they only afford Will Forte for two episodes? <laughs> he knows. He's in heaven. Hallucination heaven. <laughs> you got a train to catch. What a touching moment. Is he waking up? God damn. How is he seeing the general? He got saved. He's using the parachute. Ha <laughs> ha, he's making the bro fist. <laughs> this is amazing. Bro fist. She's a missing person now. It's only been three days, man. All the neighbors are nosy, essentially, in this town. They're justifying Nancy's death. You're burning up, burning up, you baby. She's got his first hybrid delivery. Look how happy she is. Well, the kid's about to die. She wants to get down and dirty too? Out of hybrids? God damn. Imagine being willing to kill a hybrid and they have no more hybrids. What is happening? God damn, they left her in here? They're not about to just kill Samantha now. Is he switching up? Is she sick too? God damn. Are they gonna burn the book? Probably the general's gonna save him last minute. Damn, they're really so quick to burn niggas. Here's my backdrop. They got to the train. On the real, what's the time frame for Amy's storyline? I feel like we're gonna get to Amy and she's mad old. So he's been doing this because of guilt. Y'all not gonna die. The general's gonna save your asses. So they do bury motherfuckers alive. I knew it. I knew it. I totally knew that the general was gonna save his ass. I totally knew that the general was gonna save his ass. That was predetermined by the storyline. He was too important. He was too important. He was legit story B. That was a great episode also. Keep saying that like I'm surprised. The show is great even though we're more than halfway in. <laughs> yeah. Story A, Gus had a hallucination speaking to his dad. I would say he got closure, but nah, the way he reacted after his dad disappeared, that's hell no, nah, that's not closure. <laughs> um then we got story B, the doctor just got saved by the general and the other doctor was lying about a cancer apparently. Um, we also got uh, story C, Amy. Amy's story keeps doing time jumps. That's why I'm like, when is her story taking place? Do you guys know if it's going to be like a massive twist at the end? Like, oh, the sanctuary has been a thing for a long ass time. Because the poster we saw on the wall, that dropped while in the first episode. Well, while um, Gus was still young, young. His dad was still alive. So I know Amy is about to be looking different. You know what I'm saying? But Gus, no. Let me think about this. Gus was the one of those first kids that were hybrids, right? His dad ran to the woods. Gus is 10 years old. That means the little girl with Amy has to be 10 years old too. Or unless the storyline right now, she's still eight or seven. Or... Man, we'll see. I mean, maybe I'm just thinking too ahead. You know what I'm saying? 